Now we will talk about solving systems of equations by substitution and this is a completely algebraic approach rather than graphing and it involves simply manipulating equations according to the rules of algebra that you already know and we sometimes call this the substitution method and you'll see why in just a moment. I'm going to demonstrate this with an example. Look at this system of equations negative x plus y equals 1 and 2x minus 3y is negative 6. Now the goal is to solve the system, which means we want to find a value for x and y that will satisfy both equations at the same time. And what we will do is use substitution to eliminate a variable from one of the equations. And here's the solution. I'm going to work through this and explain it as I go. And you can write this in your notes um, as, a, as I work it out here. Okay, start with um, this first equation here, negative x plus y equals 1. I'm going to take this equation and solve it for y. And you can see that's pretty easy to do. All we do is add x to each side. So if I add x there and there, that uh, cancels out. And I'm left with y is equal to, you can see that, y is equal to x plus 1. Okay, so I solved this for y. Now what I do, I take this expression now, which is equal to y, and I'm going to substitute that in for y in the other equation. So let me write the other equation down here. 2x minus 3y equals negative 6. And I think it's actually helpful to draw this circle and this arrow here. Take that right there. We're going to substitute that in for y because that is equal to y. So again, here's the approach. I solved one equation for y, and what I got for y, I then substitute in to the other equation. Now let's rewrite this equation, but in place of y, put that. So this equation now looks like this, 2x minus 3, and instead of y, I put x plus 1 equals negative 6. Okay, that's the approach, and look at what we have now. We have an equation with only x. y has been eliminated. This substitution here, instead of y, I put in an expression involving x. That substitution eliminated y. And this, uh, an equation with one variable, that can be solved with ordinary algebra. So let's distribute this 3 here. And don't forget that it's a negative 3. So this is 2x minus 3x minus 3 equals negative 6. So let's see, 2x minus 3x is negative x. And if I add 3 to each side, uh, that's going to go away. And over here, I'll have negative 6 plus 3, which is negative 3. So negative x is negative 3. So x equals 3. OK, now we found x. We're not done. We're not done until we find y also. And what we can do, you can take this value for x and put it in right here and solve for y. Or you could put it into this equation. You could put it in right here and solve for y. Or look at this. That equation is already solved for y. So we could just put in x right there and solve for y. So let's do that. Uh, y is x plus 1. That's uh, really easy to do. So y is equal to 4. So now we're done. Once you find a value for x and y, then you have the solution to the system. And you could write it like that, x equals 3 and y equals 4. Or you could write it like this, 3 comma 4 as an ordered pair. Either way would be OK. That's a standard notation. It's understood that x is first and then y. Or you could just do, do that. But that's it. The, solu the, the system is solved now. And we solved it using the substitution method. These values, x equals 3 and y equals 4, that will work if we plug those values into this first equation. And it will also work if we plug those values into the second equation. That's what it means for those values to be a solution to the system.